This event is basically um, a celebration of Stanislav Lem, 90 years after his birth, and it was a, an idea to get together a number of people who had been inspired by Lem, who had been influenced by him, but also to look at Lem's work in a modern context, really, to try and appreciate what he can tell us today. Now, tonight we are turning our attention to Stanislav Lem. He's quite an extraordinary figure. And not really uh, done much of a service by the science fiction genre because he is a literary giant. He's a, he's a master of comedy, a, a beautiful prose stylist, and his ideas are, well, you know, he was, he was up there with, with the greats. Uh, we are very uh, thankful for the uh, partnership of the Polish Cultural Institute, uh, who have been fantastic in putting this event together with us. The event consisted of um, a number of writers who have themselves been inspired by Stanislav Lem, um, for instance, Toby Litt, very well-known um, British writer, and also thinkers, philosophers, intellectuals who have been inspired by Lem as well. One of the things we've done this evening is launch a book. It's called Lemistry, and this book is a way of restoring our interest, our balance, if you like, um, our, th our thinking about Lem, but also about his ideas. And I do think these ideas are absolutely relevant today. His novels and essays are some of the most important ever written in that rich, all-embracing universe of science fiction. Although maybe we should not even call him a sci-fi writer, because he does transcend any labelling. He's also a fantastically witty, um, provocative writer. So I think today, pick up um, a short story by Lem and just read it for the fun of it and the beauty of the language and his great joy with narrative as well. He's a wonderful storyteller. And he also has a lot to tell us about how we live today. So I think all in all, a very good idea to read Stanislav Lem.